Welcome to NextStar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 12 Equations. In this video, I'll be covering how to create and edit mathematic equations and expressions. Okay, let's get started. So today we're going to be talking about how to work with mathematical expressions and equations in Word 2010. Now one thing that's really nice is that Word already has a lot of frequently used equations already in it. So to use these, all you do is come up to Insert, go over to the Equation button, click this little down arrow, and you'll see that they already have a lot of built-in frequently used equations. So the area of a circle, the Pythagorean theorem, quadratic formula, they're already here. Um, for you to use pre-created. So to use them, all you need to do is click them and they will be put into your document. Now Word lays out equations in two formats, professional and linear. Professional is the default format and that's when the expression is shown on multiple lines. So you'll see in this equation that um, you know you have multiple lines. There's two lines right here, one line here. It's spaced out so you can understand the equation more easily. So it's this is the professional layout. Now, you can also lay it out in the linear format, and that means that the equation is all shown on one line. So you can easily do this. You can easily switch back from professional and linear by selecting the formula and coming up and using the professional and linear buttons. So you'll see by clicking linear, it'll make your equation one line, and if you click the professional button, it'll bring it back to multiple lines. You can also change this by clicking this drop down arrow and you can change it from linear to professional there as well. Now you can also use Word 2010 to create equations. And to create an equation, what you're going to want to do is come up to the insert tab and just click this equation button. And that'll insert a window where you can create an equation. And if you're wanting to do a basic equation, you can just start typing into the window. Now you can also make more complex equations. You'll see whenever you have an equation window that the equation tools come up on your design bar. So right up here are all of the symbols that you can use. These are basic mathematics symbols, your plus sign, your addition, and if you pull down this window you'll see that there's some more symbols too. Now another part of equations would be structures and what structures are is symbols or placeholders that allow you to make mathematic expressions. So this is going to be more like your complex formulas like your Pythagorean theorem. This is where you're going to use those kind of things. So to create a more complex equation or mathematic expression you're going to come over to the structures area and you'll notice that it's already broken up into the areas of math that you would be using. So if you pull down the fraction there is some common fraction symbols that you could use. Now this is um, at the top it'll show you fractions that are blank so these are just placeholders that allow you to make your own fraction or down here are some common fraction symbols. And the same goes for all these different areas. So you have an E script again up here are just placeholders and here are some actual formulas same as this, same for radicals integrals large operator bracket function accent limit and log operator and matrix so i'm just going to show this over in the fraction area so if we just choose a placeholder and then do a equal sign and we can choose another placeholder and then this is a fraction that you can use so now if you want to start filling in your numbers all you do is select your placeholder and enter whatever number or symbol you want to and this will allow you to change your formula to whatever you need. So there you go. Now something to also keep in mind is that you can format your equations. So if you right click your equation, just highlight it and right click it, you can change the font. Cambria Math is the default setting for equations, but you can make it whatever font you want, and you also can change the size of your font. Again, uh, size 11 is the default, but you can change it bigger or smaller if you want, and you can also change the um, boldness or italics. And along those lines, something to keep in mind is that you come up to your home tab and make things bold, italic, um, you can underline things, and you can use the strike through feature for any of your equations as well. And the last thing I wanted to cover real quickly, the layout of your equation. So equations are kind of like objects in objects or images in that they are a box of their own and you can move them around. They can work with your text in two ways. You can choose the inline feature or the display feature. If you choose inline, your equation will be in line with text next to it. So as you see, it's in line with the text right beside it. Whereas if you choose display, your equation will then become a line of its own. Thank you for joining Nextstar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 12 Equations. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextstar.tv for other tutorials 
or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash nextara.